Hello friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I have created the password strength meter. That is whenever user type something in the password field, sometime we need to check the strength of the password. Like the user must have one small case, one upper case, one number and one special character. So currently in, in my case, uh, I have almost covered all the general uh, strength checking mechanism, strength checking criteria. <clears throat> that is the minimum character um, check, one special character. There must be one number have to be there, one small case and one upper case. And as you can see, this is the bar I have created. So before that, let me make some change here and let, it, uh, let me show you there. So this is the bar and now user start started typing there so if I type you can see whenever I'm starting to type something in this field and we're showing which criteria has already made so I have typed something here and I can see one small small case character has been uh, done it's made the criteria this criteria has been made but the password is weak because I have only typed uh, the one character and here you can see also the text it's showing too short if I type eight character you can see the minimum eight character criteria is also made and the strength meter uh, the color has changed and its percentage has also been increased <clears throat> and the text is also now the weak it's weak password right now if i type one special character so this has also been made and the color is also changed and the percentage with this now if i type one number now it's a good password even we have one criteria left, one uppercase. So let me do that. You can see it's made and it's now strong. If I <clears throat> if I start doing this, again you can see I have the password strength as good because I don't have any uh, the minimum character the minimum character validation made yet. So that's now done. So how I created this? So this is a very simple process I have created as you can see this is my registration page so let me go to the registration page this is my registration page and here I have used one component this is the password strength meter I have created one custom component this is not any third party library it's a simple custom one and which is very simple so this is the password strength meter a component where I'm passing the password which has been typed in this password field so since this is using form builder, I have also used the same here to pass the <coughs> value using the controls from control. And in case you need to know in this controller, in this registration controller, the TS file, in case you need to know what are what is the score, current score, it's good, it's bad, it's too short, it's weak. In this component, you will get it through this event emitter on strength change. So now if I go to the this component. In the view of that component what I have I only have the text this is basically showing the uh, strength of the password too short good fair or strong and uh, this is the level that is the marker or the criteria that need to be made and also I'm showing the status as a check mark or a cross that's all and the important thing here is the data attribute I'm passing the score in my case I have kept this score as one two three four you can definitely make its uh, percentage wise as per your requirement so currently score is five now if I say change this one you can see it's become four <coughs> so now let's go to the component of this uh, ts file of this component here as of now what I have uh, input element here the password and the minimum length in which is default to 8 now ng on changes I have taken the change as a simple changes and here if the change is in password I'm calling the check strength function and what this function will do this function will basically check the strength or the ch check the criteria has been met or not you can see here currently the score is 0 and if 
is length is made that means if the password length is minimum length required that's in our case it's eight then it will uh, it will return as true else it will return as false and whenever it's true i am uh, adding the score with uh, plus plus one <coughs> here also as you can see i have a feedback array which is a blank initially which is blank initially and then in every every criteria check i'm adding the uh, pushing the value in this array as an object like the level which is need to be shown in the ui and the status either true or fail false if it's met then it will be true and if it is not met it didn't met it will be false and based on this true or false so it's showing the tick mark or the cross icon there <coughs> same way the special character also been checked using the regex mostly all the other things are used uh, are being, uh, i used the regex you can see small case uppercase number all the things been checked with the <coughs> regex here so this is pretty simple and now the uh, only one thing is left which is the the text which is showing that uh, uh, it's good or fair or too short so here i have, i have a function which is getting called in the on changes here after getting uh, all the criteria checked and we are getting the final score and that after that we are checking that based on the final score what is that word we can say for this uh, score of this password <coughs> so uh, this is the simple switch case where you can see like for case one i have given if, if you have the score one then two short if the score you have two then weak like this i have five cases and uh, from two short to strong these are the text or the wordings for the current score <coughs> now uh, there is one point that's the css part <coughs> because we have also to uh, cover this color right so what i did is so initially this is the wrapper of that so basically uh, basically this is the section for the bar the default gray bar and the uh, other colored bar either red or orange or green <coughs> so this is the wrapper and this is the bars in the css you can see in the wrapper section what we have background as gray like has d d d and the default width is the 100 percent the full width now if i check the bar inside that so uh, default background is the white now this is the section that data attribute i am use, using to data attribute i am using here to show the different color and the percentages so if the score is one score is getting appended here at the parent level top level so either it's one two three four five in between from one to five any can be so here i have mentioned that the color of the bar will be dark red for uh, case of one and then uh, it will be uh, kind of orange it will moving towards the orange then it will be green finally when it's met all the criteria and the score is five and definitely uh, if you require this you can uh, make it percentage wise so in this case every uh, every we have five so 100 by five we will have uh, we'll get 20 percentage so we can give like 20 percent and then here 40 percent and also we need to convert this score from here from 1 to 20 or say plus 20 so it will be if one made then it will be 20 then another made it will be 20 plus 20 then 40 like this <coughs> okay the last thing here is uh, in some cases we may want there to be something like uh, the uh, bar not to be consistent here you can see only we have only one bar sometime it will visually good to see uh, some blank spaces <coughs> uh, in between of the bar so i have applied another css in before and after so that it looks like this so if i show you it will be this is the before and so basically what i did i applied one before and after property here in the before section as you can see <coughs> in the dom which is highlighted here so it's uh, background color is the this one and uh, border color is this one so that uh, let me show you this if i make it red you can see this you can see now and there is some there have some calculation on the width and the left left position of this and same goes for after case let me show you that also yeah you can see 
this is the after block from this blue to this blue and the border left and right i'm showing in blue now so this uh, this is the way i have shown this spaces here you can see uh, on the on this uh, continuous bar now if i try to write something it will be increased so uh, that's it for now uh, hope you like this video and obviously you can make this component as a separate package npm package and you could um, anytime uh, place this inside your uh, node module folder and just use that in order to make it mo uh, more user friendly i made some changes in the existing component so in some cases user may need to uh, make some specific criteria not the uh, all of the mentioned here say i need to have the i don't need basically the special character checking all other checking will be there so as i told you already that i can make it uh, percentage wise the score instead of one two three four five we can make it percentage wise so what are the changes i made <clears throat> so basically the criteria that these are required i make them as input so number check will be there or not it's input special character check will be there or not input small case and upper character check will be there or not it's input and so based on the input will be received by default the, all these are true and uh, based on the input received we will be doing the calculation of the score and the percentages of the uh, colored bar so to show you whenever we are doing this check strength function call at that time we are checking what will be the uh, what are the total criteria what are the total criteria number <clears throat> so here if the number check is there so i'm adding one to the total criteria and by default one because one criteria one criteria is already required that is the minimum number check uh, this is also configurable currently we have eight and we can make this change using the input property here whenever we uh, do any kind of change in the input field this function will be called and here uh, we will will uh, get the total criteria and since we have the maximum 100 percent of width we will calculate the percentage based on this so uh, suppose we have five criteria all five are needed so 100 by 5 each will be 20 right so in that case we may I need to make in change in two places like in case of one like pre previous implementation it was and in this case we will have 20 uh, 20 40 and 60 80 and 100 so I mentioned all the cases here and same goes for uh, four. suppose I need only four criteria like at this situation if I show you I need to have uh, all the five so the percentage here will be 60 in this case now if I give a number here it's increasing now if I give upper case it's 100 as you can see here so now I don't need the and also there need to be changed in the CSS so for case one I had the color and the width there right so uh, for 20 percent i mentioned the same and for 25 percent all uh, i mentioned the same so uh, 20 and 25 for 25 it's 20 percent so you can easily uh, change it like uh, copy and paste another uh, create another style uh, rule and there you can mention the 25 percent and if you want to change the color also you can change so basically we need only three or four uh, color range and the width here since we have only f uh, maximum we can have five of the <coughs> criteria to be made so based on that, we'll have this many matrices. So let's say we'll go to a registration component and we say that uh, we don't need the special character check, right? So what we'll do, we'll just go and say that special character check is not needed, make it false. Okay, now see, special character check, the label won't be present there and also it will be reacting based on that you can see uh, 2 is made so it, will, it, sh it should be uh, around 50% uh, right we have 4 so all are 25% 8 character made and one number is also made 100 strong now if I say that 3 3 uh, for in the case of 3 is a bit uh, tricky so because there will be 33.33 so I have also handled this. So say I don't need the uppercase. The uppercase here, it's required now. Now it won't be required. So that's all you can see. It's all handling. 
in this case 66.66 like the 20 or 25 i have also mentioned the 66.66 wherever required and in, instead of 99 it will be 99.9999 instead of 100 so that's all thanks friends thank you for watching this if you like this please uh, comment me and please do subscribe uh, my channel i'll share this kind of video thank you